Hi, welcome to the CDOX tip of the day. Today I want to talk to you about a topic that has a little bit of confusion around it, which is bonding to zirconia. And, and yes, you can bond to zirconia. When we use zirconia, typically what we do is we want to have a preparation that's a retentive preparation. So think about a gold preparation. I don't need to bond a gold crown in simply because my mechanical retention holds that restoration in place. Think of the same thing for zirconia. You don't want to have a, a, a flat top type preparation for zirconia because we want to rely on our mechanical retention to hold the restoration in place, simply because it makes the cementation process much easier. That's one of the advantages of using zirconia because I don't have to bond, I can cement. Having said that, there are times when people would prefer to bond to zirconia. How do I do it? Well. According to Dr. John Burgess, one of the uh, prolific researchers on this, there's three ways that we can bond to zirconia. One, you go ahead and use air abrasion. Air abrade the internal of the zirconia to roughen up the surface. Two, sodium hypochlorite. Use bleach. Use bleach to clean the internal of the surface. And the third way is use IvoClean from IvoClar. IvoClean will allow you to bond zirconia. Now, once you have prepared that zirconia surface, uh, use a bonding agent to, to coat the inside of the zirconia and you will get bond strengths to zirconia. My preference, I'm going to try to cement whenever I can because if I'm going to go through the trouble of bonding then I'll have a material that's a little bit more aesthetic than zirconia. But zirconia has a lot of other advantages and if you have come across a situation where you want to bond to it, you certainly can do it utilizing one of those three techniques that I mentioned. See you next time on the Sea Docs Tip of the Day.